In this video, I'm transforming 50 famous movie characters into minifigures that have never been released by LEGO. Let's go! First, we have one of my favorites with the Logan version of Wolverine. LEGO has released four versions of him over the years, but none based off of this iconic appearance, probably due to the film's R rating. That's Thorin's head from The Hobbit and Han Solo's torso. Next, we have Black Adam from DC Comics. It still blows my mind that LEGO didn't release any sets or even promotional minifigures based off of the film. But then again, it wasn't the box office smash DC fans were hoping for. He's using Black Vulcan's torso, a tattered ringwraith cape, and this face from a Jurassic World guard. Our next minifigure is one of the most popular female action heroes of all time, Ellen Ripley from the Alien franchise, played by Sigourney Weaver. Frodo's hair works really well for her, and I like that Maria Hill's arm has this patch on it, similar to the one we see on her costume in the film. And of course, her famous cat is an accessory. For an iconic western hero, we have the man with no name from the good, the bad, and the ugly, who easily accomplishes the feat of making a poncho look tough yet stylish. To recreate his poncho, I'm using Boba Fett's shoulder cloth. His hat and torso are from this Decutron from the Lego movie, and he has Finn's legs. From one of my all-time favorite movies, we have Rocky Balboa. If you want him to look beat up, you can use this face from the boxer minifigure. To go along with Rocky, we have the intimidating Russian boxer Ivan Drago, whose smug, cold appearance is captured through the Draco Malfoy face. I must break you. For our next iconic hero, we have James Bond. This minifigure is based off of the Pierce Brosnan portrayal of the character, who was the actor prior to Daniel Craig. He's wearing his iconic bow tie and also has this custom pistol. The name's Bond, James Bond. This is my version of Miles Morales, another character that LEGO has released five times now but has only ever released him in his Spider-Man outfit, so I wanted to give him a regular variant. He's using Finn's head and hair, and I made a black and red torso for him to echo his costume's color scheme. This version is based off of his appearance in the Spider-Verse film. For another animated character, we have Count Dracula from Hotel Transylvania, who actually smiles a ton for a vampire, so I'm using this headpiece. To make his magenta cape, I'm using Mysterios placed underneath this vampire one, and he's also using that minifigure's torso and legs. This is Maximus, played by Russell Crowe in the movie Gladiator. He's using a really old yellow version of Qui-Gon Jinn's head, and I've equipped him with some armor fitting for a Roman Colosseum, along with this sword and shield. This is my version of Nathan Drake, and for this minifigure I was conflicted on whether or not I should try to make him look like the movie or game version, or just mesh the two together, because I'm still not convinced that Tom Holland has the look of the original character. But I think the minifigure is okay, and I liked getting to use this brown scarf piece and the secret agent's hair. A surprisingly accurate minifigure for this collection was Mulan in her battle armor. She's using the samurai woman's hair, has Green Arrow's hood, these shoulder pads, Voldemort's torso, and the frightening knight's legs. Hopefully, LEGO will eventually release this version of the character, as it'd not only be nice to get a minifigure for the character, but I'm sure it'd also be good for army building. One of my favorite books and movies growing up was Holes, so our next minifigure is Stanley Yelnats, originally played by Shia LaBeouf. That's Frodo's face, and for accessories, he has a shovel, as well as one of the deadly desert lizards, which in this case, unfortunately doesn't have yellow spots. This is my version of John Wick, who's using Bard the Bowman's face and this custom submachine gun piece. He's a simple minifigure, but still captures the look of the original really well. Speaking of Keanu Reeves, our next minifigure is Neo from The Matrix. For his famous outfit, I'm using some Star Wars officer parts for his torso and legs. And the best match I had for his head is this really old one, but you could also use this version and look good as well. I also made Morpheus, and his head is from Black Vulcan. It's not perfect, but it's the best I had. And for accessories, Morpheus has only one question for you. Red stud or blue stud? For a bonus fact, I like that his torso and legs have blue and red accents to go along with the studs, even though it's not movie accurate. If you're enjoying the video so far, please consider liking it as it helps my videos reach more LEGO fans. Thanks for watching. For a science fiction entry, we have Paul Atreides from Dune. He's using Jay's hair and Legolas's face, which actually looks a lot like him. His torso is from Falcon and his legs are from Ultron, and he's another one of my favorites. An actor that has skyrocketed back into popularity this year is Brendan Fraser, so I included his most iconic role here, Rick O'Connell in The Mummy. His torso has the suspenders that we see in the film, and he's armed with a torch and this old Lego musket. That hairpiece is from Harry Potter's Flitwick. 
This one is a bit of a stretch, but I went ahead and included Elvis Presley, who starred in dozens of movies over the course of the 50s and 60s. For accessories, he has a microphone and this guitar. For another classic movie villain, we have the Terminator, played by the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. The bad cop face works really well for him, and if you want to give him the cyborg look, you can use a head like this one from Ninjago, and I also had to give him two huge guns of course. Our next hero is Katniss Everdeen from the Hunger Games series. She has a quiver and shoulder pads, as well as this torso from Ninja Turtles. Her hairpiece is from Lego Friends. For a double entry, we have Jack and Rose from Titanic, which for a long time was the highest grossing film of all time, with a box office of over $2 billion. Jack is in his raggedy street clothes, while Rose is wearing this blue dress, and this is Jack frozen in the ocean. Next, we have another entry for The Rock with his appearance in Jumanji. He has the zookeeper's torso with Commissioner Gordon's short-sleeved arms, as well as the dino hunter's pants, adding up to this being another pretty accurate look for the on-screen version of the character. This is Liam Neeson from Taken, and his two accessories speak for themselves. He has a gun and a cell phone. That face is Elrond's and his jacket is from Bruce Banner. I will find you, and I will kill you. Our next character is The Bride from Kill Bill, a movie that I haven't seen, but has such an iconic cover that I wanted to include the character here. She's using this pajama girl's hair and this firefighter suit, which isn't the exact yellow that we see on the poster, but still gets the idea across. Moving on, we have Deckard from Blade Runner. To capture his long brown coat, I'm using Bard the Bowman's torso and legs, but if you don't have those or want an alternate, you can also use Mad-Eye Moody's torso as well. I also gave him a pistol that looks a bit futuristic. For some comedy, our next minifigure is an absolute staple from my childhood, Captain Underpants. He has a huge smile and a red cape, and not much else as you can see. Oh. Another fantasy minifigure I've included is Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. This version is based on his appearances in the later movies. That torso is from Oin, and I've given him this pirate peg leg and this flaming sword like the one we see in the movies. This is my version of Lara Croft, which I've based off of the 2018 film, which I thought was pretty good, but unfortunately doesn't seem to be getting a sequel anytime soon. That face is Arwen's and the body comes from the Dino Hunter. The legs are from this indoor trooper. Next, we have a double entry with the men in black. For Will Smith, I'm using Falcon's head and hair, while Tommy Lee Jones is using Plastic Man's head, which unfortunately doesn't feature black glasses. They both have identical suits, and I've given them huge guns, as well as this pin piece that I'm using as the neuralizer that wipes out memories. For another double entry featuring two smaller secret operatives, we have the Spy Kids. They both have printing for wristwatches, which was important for me to include because those were so cool when I was a kid. I remember McDonald's doing the promotion for all of the spy toys that could all build up to Ralph if you collected every piece. For the Star Trek fans, this is my version of Captain Kirk. The Star Trek uniforms are really simple, with the logo being the only distinguishable feature. So for this Kirk, I figured I'd use the yellow space torso. He also has this custom gun that I'm using as his phaser. This is the Witch King from the Lord of the Rings in his Pelennor Fields battle armor. This is the one minifigure that I hope LEGO releases with the return of the theme since they've never released this version of the character before. This custom version is using this helmet from Overwatch and I've made him taller with these extra boot pieces. I also made him this custom flail. This is my version of John McClane from Die Hard. This dirty tank top from Ninja Turtles is perfect for him. He's using Star-Lord's face and Mr. Incredible's hair and for accessories he has this stick of dynamite and a machine gun. I've also included Hans Gruber, the antagonist in Die Hard, played by Alan Rickman, the actor most well known for playing Snape in the Harry Potter franchise. Hans Gruber is considered by many to be one of the best movie villains of all time. For another double feature, we have two versions of Willy Wonka, the Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp version. I gave them both waist capes to represent their long jackets, and the Johnny Depp version is based on the scene when he's wearing those huge goggles. Next is Cinderella, the most famous Disney princess to have not received a Lego minifigure, but only a mini doll. I'm using her mini doll's hair, along with Elsa's torso and dress piece. This is my version of Ryan Reynolds' Free Guy, another minifigure that's pretty plain, but comes from a movie that was incredibly popular. And this is my version of Mr. Wolf from The Bad Guys. This torso piece actually has a tie underneath it, but luckily, the wolf's molded head covers it, making it look more like Mr. Wolf's stylish suit. For another childhood classic, we have Benjamin Gates, played by Nicolas Cage in the National Treasure films. He's using Han Solo's face, which looks even more like Nicolas Cage than Harrison Ford in my opinion. I gave him two versions of the Declaration of Independence, one that's rolled up and the other that's on this tile, which is actually the Gettysburg Address from the Abraham Lincoln minifigure. Next we have Tom Cruise from Top Gun Maverick, decked out in pieces that I'm using to represent his aviation outfit. I also included two different heads, one with aviator glasses and one without. 
This space-looking minifigure is Dave Bowman from the science fiction classic 2001 A Space Odyssey. I recently featured this minifigure in my video Making Movie Posters in Lego. For a couple more famous Disney characters, we have Tarzan, who's using the Jungle Boy's torso and legs, and has this chimp companion as an accessory. And this is Merida from Pixar's Brave. She's another one that would fit in with any LEGO Forest men you may have in your collection. Her torso is from the Centaur and her legs are from Voldemort. This minifigure is intended to be Edward Scissorhands, which is another film I have yet to see, in spite of enjoying Tim Burton's other work. He has a ton of clasp and buckles all over him. So I'm using this torso from LEGO Castle and the arms and legs from this rocker minifigure. Moving on, we have MacReady from the science fiction horror film The Thing. Set in an Arctic research base, MacReady has to try to figure out which of his crewmates is actually an alien. I liked getting to use the caveman's hair and beard piece for this minifigure, and he's equipped with this custom flamethrower piece. For another iconic action hero, we have John Rambo, another character portrayed by Sylvester Stallone. He's using the barbarian's face and this torso from LEGO City that helped capture Rambo's scarred, torn up body. And for accessories, I had to include Rambo's huge knife and bow. And for today's last minifigure, this is my version of Arnold Schwarzenegger from the Predator film. That's Bane's torso, which does a nice job of showing all the muscles, and the camo legs are a custom piece. And that does it for our list of minifigures. I miscounted and ended up including 52. I know I left out a ton, so in the comments, let me know which ones you would have included. And until next time, see you later.